when we reflect on our teachings, whether it's from Quran or from the Hadith, we find a very beautiful connection between the days of Eid and the sacrifice and the hard work and a struggle which should happen before reaching the day of Eid. You know, we Muslims have two common Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Of course, every Friday is also Eid. We have Eid al-Ghadir. But in Islamic calendar, these two are two common Eid for all Muslims that stand out throughout the year. Eid al-Fitr is preceded by one month of struggle, one month of trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by our fasting, but also by remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keeping away from haram, recitation of the Quran, everything that we do in the months of Ramadan in order to be prepared for receiving forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all other gifts which come after forgiveness in the night and day of Eid. So we celebrate the day of Eid because we have been working hard like a student who has worked hard throughout the year and now is receiving the certificate of success. Like a person who has been working hard to make a house for himself and his family and now he's celebrating the completion of the house. We don't have any Eid without doing something. We don't have any Eid just because of a particular you know, time or I don't know, particular event. Every Eid is the result of the hard work that we should have done before. 